Yankees are champions, and look at Barrow. He's waiting. The Yankee bench on the field. Yankees are the champions. For the third time in the The Yankees are back on top. World champions for the 27th time. The New York Yankees, home to 27 World Series trophies and some of the most known baseball players of all time, like Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, and Derek Jeter. However, this video isn't going to be focused on the Yankees. Let's take a little trip to North Dakota. More importantly, Fargo, North Dakota. It's the year 1928. Fargo was looking to start up a new team for the new North Dakota Summer Baseball League that was in the American Legion baseball system. But little did the city of Fargo know, they would get one of the most historical, dominant, and unfair high school age sports team in the state's history. I first want to note to all my North Dakota viewers out there, Linton actually won the first North Dakota American Legion baseball title. Yeah. Linton. But how did Post 2 become known as Post 2? Well, according to Legion.org, in the first years of Legion, when a flood of applications for initial Post charters came in, Posts in many departments were assigned a number based on when they turned in their application. Thus, the first applying Post in each department would have been named Post 1. Post 1 in North Dakota, Bismarck, Fargo, Post 2. A post can also petition to change their numbers. This is going to be some key information for later. As mentioned before, Post 2 started in 1928 and finished second behind Linton in the first North Dakota Legion season. Jack Williams helped conduct the initial 1928 Legion baseball season in North Dakota, and in 1966, Fargo Post 2 also had their stadium named after him. Since 1952, when they started recording wins and losses on Post 2's website, they are 2,646 and 1,180, with only two losing seasons in 2010 and 1985. We all remember counting numbers from school, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know the drill. Well, one reason Fargo Post 2 is better than the Yankees is this number right here, 28 is greater than 27. Fargo also makes up about 30% of state titles while the Yankees are only about 23% of World Series titles. Player dominance also makes up about 90% of post 2's success and player stats such as Luke Sandy who hit 485 in 2017 or 12.25 strikeouts per 7 innings in 2018 by Cam Blazik with four players being tied at 11 home runs in a single American Legion baseball season. And finally, 181 strikeouts and seven shutouts in 1967 by Bernie Grainer are reasons Post 2 win a lot of games every single year. We also can't forget Post 2 had players like Chris Costi, a catcher who played 98 games for the Phillies when they won in 2008, come through their team, as well as the late great Roger Maris of New York Yankees, who once held the MOB home run record. So two out of the only handful of players from North Dakota to play in the MOB, and Post 2 had two of them. Coaching at Post 2 has also seen dominant stats over North Dakota's history. Jerry Harder won 1,199 games in 29 seasons, or 40.3 wins a year. Luke Rusted, their current coach, has a winning percentage of almost 76% in 540 games. You know, I don't see Yankee managers putting up these kind of stats for their MOB managerial careers. And to put this in perspective, my teams were, eh, they were okay back in the day, and I myself went 42-100 and 100 in American Legion. Post 2 also had the greatest name coach of all time in baseball history, Homer Major. A post two coach in the late 1920s and early 1930s, he was probably just a legit walking baseball man. Like, look at that. Now, for the main part of this great video about North Dakota baseball. Yeah, me saying that post two was better than Yankees was a little bit of a stretch and clickbait. Sorry about it. However, I need to address the elephant in the North Dakota American Legion room. Post 2 is simply unfair. But Connor, how is a random baseball team in North Dakota unfair? Well, Fargo is now at a population of 125,000-ish and is one of the most highly populated city over North Dakota's history. From 1928 to 2020, Fargo Post 2 was the only real player in town at the American Legion level for Fargo residents. Yes, there's another American Legion baseball team, Fargo Post 400, that started in 2014. But they were not any good until 2020, 2021, 
and post 400 also didn't start playing American Legion games until 2018, where they went 1-30. in I do have a pretty funny story about post 400, though. But in 2018, when they went 1-30, in the state tournament for baseball was in Williston, North Dakota, and that's on the opposite side of the state. So 400 went there, and they played a playing game to get in the tourney. However, they are playing the host, Williston. And Post 400 actually won that game, and they couldn't get in the tournament. So they drove all that way just to not get into the tournament. Finally, the Fargo Jets are another team, but they are just for the kids who are too old for the level below Post 2, and they're just not skilled enough for Post 2. But being able to select from that wide of pool of players should mean you crush every team in North Dakota 10-0. It means you should have multiple college baseball players on your team at one time. Does this really seem fair in Post 2's favor? The solution to this problem would be easy, though. Just divide Post 2 into another team, and this will leave Fargo with three Legion teams compared to their five high schools who participate in sports in North Dakota. Same would go for cities like Bismarck, Minot, West Fargo, and Grand Forks. Split their one team into two teams. And every viewer right now must be thinking, oh, you're just complaining to make up for you guys sucking that bad or not working hard enough. While that may be true a little bit based on my 42 and 100 record, it still doesn't dismiss the fact that North Dakota's five highest populated cities only had five teams throughout 1928 to 2020. I know this was a quick video, but thank you for staying for the entire thing. And if you would, hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit the bell notification.